So if you need to figure out whether 3 eighths is larger than 4 tenths, here's how you do it. So you could just divide 3 by 8 on your calculator, get a decimal, divide 4 by 10, you'll get a decimal, and compare those decimals. Whichever one's larger is the greater fraction. The other way is to figure out a common denominator here. So I know 8 times 5, that would give me 40. And then down here, 10 times 4, that equals 40. So that's a common denominator. I could have just taken 8 times 10 and then 10 times 8. That would work for our purposes as well. Because if we multiply the denominator here by 4, we need to multiply the numerator by 4. Because this 4 over 4 is just 1. We're not changing the value, just the way we write it. 4 times 4 is 16. So we end up with 16 fortieths here. Up top, we're going to multiply 3 times 5, and that'll give us 15. And now, because we have this same denominator here, we just compare the numerators. And if you look at this, 16, that's greater than 15. So 16 fortieths, it's greater than 15 fortieths. Only by 1 fortieth, not very much, but it's still greater. That means 4 tenths, that's going to be greater than 3 eighths, since these are equivalent. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.